Welcome to another random tutorial. Uh, today's tutorial is going to be focused on adding a webcam uh, that's a USB camera to your USB hub and then configuring that in OBS. Um, while a very basic uh, point here, I've been getting a lot of requests to show this or at least give my spin on it. So here's my spin on it. Uh, the first thing that I want to highlight is that I'm using a powered USB hub. Uh, this is the hub I'm using. It's an anchor um, from Amazon. You can look it up on there. And I also have a sheet with some uh, recommended items that I can send to anybody that's interested. Uh, so if you email me uh, after watching the video um, or visit me at jeremydeprisco.com or .net, I can uh, send you that information. Um, the powered hub is necessary for two reasons. One, it's going to expand the number of devices you can connect. And two, by being a powered device, it's going to uh, provide power that uh, your MacBook or other laptop does not need to uh, worry about. You don't want to be sucking a lot of power off of your main machine uh, for all of your ancillary devices. Um, I actually have two of these. I have one on the left side of my MacBook. I have a, another one on the right side, and I don't have them maxed out yet, but it does help to have two so that you can plug things in uh, closer to where they need to be, and you also have a lot of flexibility. You could leave stuff plugged in. You don't have to reconfigure stuff all the time. So that's a really big part of my setup here. Um, now I have some training cameras already set up. I'm going to uh, delete these because we're going to do this all over again, but that's where we're, what we're going for. And um, I'm starting with a scene here. Uh, it's a training scene. There's nothing in it. There's no sources. Uh, this is my audio card. I'm not going to be talking about audio here. This is purely about hooking up a camera for visual uh, capture. And we're using USB cameras in this lesson. We're not going to use a capture card. Um, but we are going to start by going to the plus sign here and going to video capture device. So video capture is just a generic uh, term here used in OBS, and we're going to start there. And um, I'm going to name this camera, so train cam1. And then it's going to give me an option here to look at all of the devices that are connected to my hubs and any other USB stuff I have here, and um, also some virtual stuff. And I can see here I've got my Victor SC30 which is a webcam I got off of Amazon for 40 bucks. It works great. It's a no-name brand uh, or a very bizarre brand. And I connect that to my hub, click on that, and it works immediately. This is a 1280 um, camera, so I'm getting the full screen here. Once I bring that in, you can see my messy room here. And uh, if I click on this image and Command S on the Mac, I can make that full screen. So that is one camera. Uh, usually we'll see those cameras pop up in sources here, I think, because I'm recording this right now. It's not immediately putting it in here. I'm taxing my machine a little bit. So you should see your sources all show up here. Uh, the little I here lets you turn that source on and off. And I'm going to add another camera. I'm going to go back to the plus sign, video capture device, and I'm going to say train two. And I'm going to go into my devices. These are all the devices that are available, uh, virtual and otherwise. And I'm going to go to this generic one, USB camera. This is an older Logitech camera uh, that happens to be pointed at a monitor right now. So it looks like it's graphics, but it's it's a camera pointed at something that's generating graphics. Uh, this is not a 1280 camera, so you can see it's not going to fill out the whole uh, thing. This is about 15 years old, but it is plug and play, works perfectly, and gives me another option, gives me some other capabilities here. So if I refresh this here, uh, I can see I've got two cameras. I'm going to rename this. Rename. I think they fixed some of the rename bugs that I noticed uh, in the upcoming version. But all right, renamed that, and I've got my eye that I can turn those on and off. 
and I can control those as part of the same scene if I go into let's say I don't want you to see all the junk behind my workstation here right so let's put this up here let's do this full screen all right that's kind of cheesy maybe I want this uh, spiral stuff to be semi-transparent so I can go up into the spiral I'm gonna right click on it and go to filters and I'm gonna add a filter to do opacity and now I've got a semi-transparent weirdness there coming out of my pile of stuff <laughs> so <laughs> Uh, so right now, these are both on the same scene. Now, if I wanted to have more like scene transitions rather than do this manually here, um, I could create a separate scene. I could have training one, training two, and then I could use um, either the automatic scene switcher or the advanced scene switcher or organic movement to those scenes. Um, those are really you know, great to explore, but they're beyond uh, this tutorial right now. So this is really just about how to connect your USB camera uh, using a hub. And uh, if you found this useful, uh, please uh, let me know in the comments and uh, get in touch and let me know what else you'd like to see. Uh, this is Jeremy DePrisco, jeremydeprisco.net. Have a good day.